Hello and welcome to Ivory Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here today with Ellen Killeran to give some Oscar insight ahead of the Academy Awards, which will be airing this Sunday. Okay, Ellen, it seems to be a tight race across the board, but especially when the best motion picture category. Now we've got Gravity, we've got American Hustle and 12 Years a Slave. So who do you think is going to win? Um, I agree. It's going to, it will definitely go to one of those three and it's really kind of wide open between the three of them. My pick by just a little bit, it would be 12 Years a Slave. I love that movie. Yeah. And another category I really love is actor in a leading role. Do you think it's time that Leonardo DiCaprio finally won? I really, I know a lot of people think that he has a chance this year, but I, I just don't see that happening. I think more likely it will go to Matthew McConaughey. Leonardo mm, DiCaprio right. is going, he's, he's still young. He's got a long career ahead of him. He's going to have plenty more opportunities. And this, his performance in Wolf of Wall Street just wasn't his best work. Yeah. Actress in a leading role. Dame Judi Dench, got Kate Blanchett, my girl from Australia. So who's going to win? Kate Blanchett. Oh gosh, I hope so. You really think she's yeah, going to win? I do, I do. I and think if there's any race that's locked, it's probably that one. And we also discussed before, who do you think she's going to talk about in a speech? Do you think she's going to go to Philip Seymour Hoffman or address Woody Allen? I think she's probably going to focus more on Philip Seymour Hoffman. That it would be the right thing to do and the smart thing to do. It's going to be interesting to see what she does. She has to thank her director. And I worry that no matter what she does, people are going to give her a hard time. Um, but I, I, we're all going to be waiting. Everyone's going to be watching her speech very closely because we're all going to be waiting to see, to see what she says. Well, she always does great speeches yeah, regardless. But talking about directors, what about in the director category? Do you know who's going to win? Uh, I think it'll probably go to Alfonso Cuaron for Gravity. Yeah, great. Probably. I'm not super confident about that, but that, that would be my pick if I had to put money on it. I feel like I'm the only person in the universe that didn't like Gravity. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it either. I, I thought it was visually wonderful, it was masterful, but the story was very flat. I don't think that it really deserves to win anything but Best Cinematography, but I'm in the mi we're in the minority. Absolutely. Yeah. It seems a lot of people are buzzing about Sandra Bullock in it, and she could actually win an Oscar for it. What do you think her odds are? I would be very surprised if she won. I, I see her as kind of the, I think she's great, I love her, uh, but I see her this year as kind of a weak, weak link in that category. Good. I don't think she'll win. And what about the supporting characters, supporting actor and actress? Um, everyone seems to think that Jared Leto is a shoe in for Best Supporting Actor. He was fabulous. He was good. Um, my hesitancy in, in my acting predictions are the fact that I have both Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto as as expected to win, mm -hmm. but nothing else for Dallas Buyers Club. So it's hard for me to get my head around two of the actors in a movie winning the top prize when it doesn't win anything else. But that's that could happen. Um, best Supporting Actress, of course, it's going to it's going to be between Jennifer Lawrence, who won Best Actress last year, and Lupita Nyong'o, who I give her a little bit of an edge. She definitely wants it more. Yeah. Um, and Jennifer Lawrence didn't show up to accept her BAFTA. That She's was not awful. Really she didn't show up. Yeah, yeah. She, I don't think she wants it. Um, and I, I think that Lupita deserves a little bit more. I think she'll win. I think Lupita does deserve more. And Jennifer Lawrence has got her whole career set for her yeah. now. She's already won an Oscar. Well, we'll have to wait till Sunday anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Ellen. Thank you.